Hello everybody. Welcome back. So uh, yesterday, actually the day before now, I uh, opened up the valve cover on my uh, 6.7 liter Cummins and set the valve lash. Now uh, one of the videos that I had watched beforehand is uh, a video by Morton's on the move. I'll put a link to them down below. Uh, the video is uh, pretty good, shows you what to do, uh, gave me a lot of information that I needed to, uh, to get this done. One uh, difference in the procedure that I did is I used the uh, OTC 7471A Cummins diesel engine barring tool, which is this guy here, and a uh, good sized socket wrench along with a bunch of extensions. Now, uh, one of the things that I ran into is uh, I, I didn't really know where to, uh, to put the barring tool to, uh, to, get it to engage the flywheel. If you look online, there's a picture, well, a drawing, that shows that you can get to that port on the uh, back of the engine uh, behind and above the turbo. That's not going to work, at least on uh, 2013. So what I ended up having to do is uh, I went under the truck, and then if you uh, look up into the area, I don't know if I can... Uh, get a picture of that here where the uh, downpipe goes up to the back of the turbo on the back of the engine doesn't matter what transmission you have you can uh, there's a plate that you can take off and that plate uh, let me try this one more time here uh, is back up in this area you can take that plate off. There's two holes there. One of those holes allows you to remove the torque converter bolts. The other one of those holes is where you insert the barring tool. Now, you could crawl under the truck and bar it over using a socket wrench, but what I did is uh, I used all my extensions and wobbles to get to the front of the truck so I could bar the engine over from the front. And uh, that was very useful. Another thing that I did is uh, on the uh, harmonic uh, balancer, the, uh, the dampener wheel, on the line for the TDC mark, I marked that with a black sharpie. And what that allows you to do is, if you're on top of the truck looking down, it's going to be a lot easier to see that marker when it comes around. And uh, that's going to make the whole process more simple. Uh, another issue that I ran into is uh, there are these plastic lines that go into rubber boots. If you take a small screwdriver and push those boots back, it loosens that up to where you can get those lines off without breaking anything. And uh, the end result of the whole process is that uh, the truck is now running a lot quieter than it did previously. And it starts quicker. And it seems like I'm getting a little bit better mileage now as well. So that's gonna be it for today. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Thanks for watching, have a great day.